Hello everybody and welcome to the US Session Brief. We're on Wednesday the 8th of March 2023. Got over an hour until the New York Open. Let's take a look at some of the market headlines, how futures have been trading so far today and of course the session ahead. I'll kick things off though by looking at yesterday because we had a market route is the best way to describe it and that was all sparked by a warning from a very hawkish Fed Chair Jerome Powell that the pace of interest rate increases may need to re-accelerate. To be fair, so far today, we've seen futures bouncing somewhat. There's been some modest gains, modest losses, and we're pretty much trading as we were on the open right at the start of the uh, day today on the Asian Open, pretty much where we're at right now. So um, the S&P actually suffered the biggest decline in two weeks yesterday, going back till uh, this particular bar here that we, that we saw uh, after we broke that uh, ascending trend line. Um, the dollar uh, index has been a uh, little changed to be fair so far today that is um, near the highest in more than two months so as uh, treasury yields climbed across the curve pulling global bond markets along with them. Uh, oil so far today has been pretty flat quite a thin trading day so far huge bar yesterday very volatile day moved down from 81 almost all the way down to 87 just below 87. Uh, whilst uh, gold is just consolidating and pausing after what was, um, you know, it had its it had its own market route, let's say, um, with a, with with quite an aggressive sell-off, thanks to that hawkish Powell, and um, basically a, a Fed repricing, because Powell said that the ultimate level of rates is likely to be higher than previously anticipated, after economic data has been coming in stronger than expected. Powell will be speaking again to Congress today and for the March 21st, 22nd Fed meeting, futures are now trading um, to the point where they are suggesting a 50, point, 50 basis points increase is more likely than 25. That was um, flipped around heading into Powell yesterday so you can see what impact the, uh, the speech uh, actually had. Um, there has been some comments that I've been seeing here today um, that uh, uh, from some of the from some from some of the banks, J.P. Morgan's Bob McKayley, for example, said a Fed reversion to 50 base points hike would be pretty confusing. Meanwhile, money markets are now pricing U.S. rates, the uh, terminal rate, to be above 5.6 percent later this year, and this keeps on climbing. So that's basically where we're at. European stocks have been moving slightly lower on the day following those uh, following those comments, that hawkish message. Um, same with Asian stocks earlier on in the day. Um, in Australia, the ASX has also uh, fell earlier on in the day, weighed in declines in mining and energy shares. Uh, the RBA has a completely open mind about its April policy meeting will be guided by key economic data. You saw the Aussie dollar suffer quite significantly because it was a bit of a dovish, uh, dovish hike from the RBA. It's a dovish meet. Um, Aussie dollar got smashed on the back of that technical breakout 0.67 and then uh, Jerome Powell's comments of course strengthening US dollar high beta currency with the Aussie dollar of course equities move lower everything was just pointing for pain basically for the Aussie uh, for the Aussie dollar uh, where we are right now well we've got the dollar yen coming into the 200 day moving average also a key horizontal technical level at 13770 that's seen a rejection I was looking for this move and the potential fade all the way back down so I'm quite interested from here especially after this rejection the initial on the daily I'll see where this daily bar closes but a, a close back inside the previous daily bar and I'll be looking for a fade back down to the low of that particular day um, oil like I said really flat today after a very volatile day yesterday heading back into uh, 7620 this is the first time really in this uh, range, this big range that we've been in for now for quite some time since December for oil that we've seen quite a significant pullback on. It's probably the shortest mini trend that we've had within the range, if that makes sense. So you've seen that move off 80. Um, it's a pretty key technical level. You know, there are range highs really 80 to 30, but 80 as well being, uh, being more of a psychological level. And now we're trading back into the 7620 area. Gold, like I said, uh, 1810 so we've come into that particular handle and the question is now can they be able to hold here uh, and can we look for a move back higher I think a lot rests on the data for the rest of this week where the, um, where the short term is and that's mainly NFPs on Friday because a big miss on the NFPs on Friday and this entire move could be completely unwound 
you start seeing 25 basis points being repriced back in as a more probable than 50 for the next Fed. Um, you see uh, US dollar weakness, you see gold spiking higher and basically might be trading back where we were prior to that meet. So that's basically it guys, I don't think there's too much more for me to add. Um, I'm just double checking here across my desk if there's any other headlines worthy of mentioning. I think I already said that we do have Jolt's job openings today, let me just uh, get that up on the calendar. That's not far away. <coughs> we have, we've had the ADP non-farms. I came through at 242k versus I think it was an expected uh, 200k. So it has been a higher number, but it's n it's not something which is going to significantly impact. In fact, whilst I just um, look for any other uh, any other major headlines here, um, which I don't think there are. We've got the five minute, and you can see how the S&P just initially reacted as a spike higher, faded, <laughs> basically bouncing around. So it's not really something which is which is market moving. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you all inside the chat room. Thanks, everybody, for listening, and all the best with your trading. Take care, and bye for now.